Welcome to Airbnb in the Northern Quarter of Manchester. And inside the property, and as soon as you come through the door, you're into a hallway. Um, there's a sort of store cupboard here. I won't bother opening it up because it's just full of, um, you know, hoovers and, and various things. Um, you've got an excellent Wi-Fi, uh, really good Wi-Fi uh, right throughout the flat. Um, excellent um, coverage, speed, yeah, really good. Can handle anything you throw at it. So we start off with the bedroom. Into the master bedroom and immediately you can see as you come in that I've been here for a, a couple of nights. Um, yes, yeah, so these uh, a chest of drawers there uh, with a mirror so that obviously you can see yourself. Um, so a rail for putting your clothes on uh, but also as I swing around you'll see there is actually a wardrobe as well. Um, there is obviously a, a double bed, um, very comfortable bed I have to say. Um, and one thing I will say about it, and that's right throughout the flat, it's absolutely spotlessly clean. Totally, totally spotlessly clean. Really nice. But before we go any further, we'll go into the ensuite. So it does have a bathroom and an ensuite. And in the ensuite, you can see you've got a toilet, a um, sink, and of course, a shower. Um, so it's got a shower in the ensuite, but has a bath in the main bathroom okay so that's the ensuite back into the bedroom uh, there's a, um, a bedside table uh, and then there's the view outside well at the moment the view outside is of a hotel that's been built uh, this is June 2019 uh, I imagine it'll probably be open sometime next year looking at how much work there is still to do um, so obviously you're going to have a little bit of, uh, of overlooking uh, once they become the rooms. But uh, for now, I mean obviously you are in a, a very populated area of Manchester so uh, that's what you can expect. Okay, so that's the master bedroom. Into the second bedroom and as you can see it's a good size. Um, first of all you start off with a wardrobe and obviously somewhere to hang your clothes you have a nice case um, a rack holder there um, and you have a radiator uh, you know a small electric radiator um, just obviously to keep the room warm but i have to admit um, it, it certainly doesn't need it through the times that i've been here and then obviously you've got a bed um, and there's a bit of a walkway at the side. So, you know, you wouldn't say a massive bedroom, this one, uh, but definitely a good second bedroom. Um, and when you've got the whole flat, you've got to remember this is a bedroom, not a, a, a hotel room. Okay, we go across the hallway and into the bathroom. And as you can see, there is, yeah, you've got um, obviously the toilet, the sink, and of course the bath uh, with the towel rail there. And, you know, very, very modern, obviously very, very clean. Really nice, really nice, uh, you know, bathroom. Okay, out the bathroom. And we go into the main room. I'll put the lights on just to give it a bit more light because it's quite a dull uh, morning. And as you can see, what have we got? We've got a nice big room, which is your living room, come dining room, come kitchen. Um, so, at start, you've got a nice uh, sofa, big sofa opposite a very big TV uh, with the usual free view. Um, there are some towels drying because obviously there have been some washing done um, and yeah uh, somewhere obviously the stand for the TV. Now just looking outside 
and we'll come to the view as well. So you've got a balcony, a little balcony, um, which is very nice if you want to sit out there with the weather's nice. Um, you can sit there and uh, enjoy the, the city views. Um, this area is becoming very, very uh, popular. There's lots and lots of buildings going up. Across there, there is actually a hotel going up and there are some apartments uh, to the sides, the departments there, and as you can see there's a building site uh, which luckily doesn't give off any uh, any noise in any time I've been here. Uh, I know they're working during the day but during the evening there's nothing. Um, and, and so obviously there's going to be a building there at some point and then over there there's more cranes building more apartments and, and uh, uh, and residential blocks which is the case all around here so it's going to be very very uh, popular uh, and, and very very busy um okay so we've got a table uh, we've also got the kitchen and yeah the kitchen is fully equipped um as you can see i washed up <laughs> uh, but there's also a um washing machine uh, in here there's a fridge and a freezer um, yeah everything you need absolutely everything so a really nice uh, modern style kitchen very functioning and literally everything you need so just let, let's go through a few things here so uh, cost um, Generally the cost is around between 40 and 50 pounds per night. Uh, obviously I think it depends on time of year, what's going on, etc. About 40 to 50 pounds a night. And then of course with Airbnb there is a service charge. And uh, that service charge is for cleaning, etc. Uh, and in this case uh, the service charge is around 45 pounds. So for me... For four nights, it costs just under the £200 mark, which, again, is much, much cheaper than a hotel um, in the same area, as most of the hotels around here um, are going for around uh, 60 80 you know, even up to £100 per night. Um, and I've done a few of those hotels, so check on the site, you'll see a few of the hotels around Manchester, but as I say, none none as cheap as uh, the airbnb okay uh i think that's it for now thank you very much for watching uh please check back as there'll be more uh, uh hotel room reviews and hopefully airbnb reviews uh, on the channel soon thank you very much for watching